Good afternoon, everybody. So I know I said I'd be doing daily uploads a few weeks ago, and if you look at my channel, I think you'll make the intelligent observation that my last video was not actually posted a day ago. So uh, I didn't do very well on uh, that promise. However, I do have an excuse. I went overseas to the great country of Europe, and it was a lot of fun. But there's also something I noticed, and that is that everybody there doesn't know how to drive. Actually, uh, it's kind of the opposite. They they really know how to drive. Like they're really good at driving. Um, and in like in like a scary way. So I'm I'm from the United States of America, and here in the United States of America, we all we all drive like like absolute wimps. We follow the road laws. We stop for pedestrians. You know, we're not constantly jockeying for. Actually, no. It's there's there's a lot of uh, offensive driving in the states. But what the heck is this guy doing? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna let you. Okay, actually, if I keep trading hits, then I might let him. But no, 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 no. Bop, bop. All right, fight me. Anyway, but you know, in the states, there's oh wow, that killed me. That guy killed me. Uh, it's like the, there's there's rules, and you have to follow the rules. In in Europe, specifically Italy and Spain, uh, not so much. I I took a few cab rides, and the entire time I was clutching the handrail or whatever the hell it's called, the the thing on the ceiling that you're supposed to hold and in like a crash. Actually, I don't even know why they're there. Where is green? Am I getting juked right now? Probably. Anyhow, um, yeah, those cab, maybe it's just the cab drivers, but like this guy, I, I was convinced he'd be like the most angry man on the planet and get out and be like, mamma mia, I don't know. Um, but like, he was so nice. It was just the second he got behind the wheel, you know? Different, different man. But anyway, like the streets too. I, Cause the thing about Europe is it's very small comparative to like, I don't know, Texas or something, right? In Texas, you've got so much space. You're like, I need to build a new road. Well, now you have like a mile to do so. Oh, God. Why did I, I just heard fall damage? Oh, there he is. Anyway. Um, and, you know, you make like a five lane road and like life is good, right? But in Europe, you've got to deal with the the architecture of like 3,000 year old people who were like, yeah, okay, this alleyway is like wide enough for one person, so we're good. And now you've got to fit your your stupid, I don't even know what brand cars they have there, but your Italian, <laughs> no, that's French, uh, your, your stupid Italian car through this one person wide alleyway, and you gotta like not kill people. So for me, a pedestrian, you know, people would drive by me. I don't even know how I got, like, I don't know, not killed. Because these guys, it's just ruthless, you know? It's like you, you get out of the street. And pedestrians, it just feels like you don't have the right of way. But it was kind of cool, you know? It felt very European. I felt like I was, um... Actually, no, that's not true. I, I was very much a stupid, stupid Americano the whole time. I, I could tell. I wear... Uh, my, my outfit was cargo shorts and Hawaiian shirts, like literally the most default NPC American. It was great. I was really living, uh, living the stereotype. Actually, I don't know if that's a good thing, but, um, it was, it was funny. I couldn't understand anybody, even if they were speaking English, because my brain is just not, not big enough to understand accents. My bet is going to be gone. But anyway, in the United States driving, it's just like, it's just really, really, really easy comparatively i'm like i'm like oh wow you know the highway it's so scary but then then i get into one alleyway or the roundabouts oh my god the roundabouts those those roundabouts are like like a heart attack worthy like i don't i don't there's no there's nothing on the ground telling me where to go how is my bed still alive did that guy like fall off the map he did i can actually go and save my bed i'm gonna do that real quick but like, how how am I supposed to know when like where where you're going, what you're doing, you know? Like, I, where's the where? I don't know. Those they're just they're just built different. Let's see if I can kill this aquatic. Hello, I'm gonna break your bridge. He's got a Spider-Man skin. That's cool. I haven't seen that movie yet. The Spider-Verse movie. It looks pretty dang good though. I need to get on that. I've you know, I, I would, but I was in Europe, and they don't have any good content in Europe. It's all, like, black and white movies or something. I don't know. I've only been there once. I didn't even... I didn't see any theaters or anything. The only... It, it's kind of cool. Most of the stuff there is uh, local. I say most. I, that's more of an assumption, really, than a statement of fact. Like, it just kind of looked that way. Dude, your fireballs... Your fire... Oh, God. Lag. Ah! Okay, well... 
if it didn't lag, I definitely would have won that fight. But anyway, a lot of the stuff is like really local, which is nice because in the United States, it's you know, Burger King one, two, three, four, and five. Actually, I did see a lot of Burger Kings. In I don't know if it's like a European thing or if they like really like crappy burgers. I went to Pisa, the one with the tower, the leaning tower, and I went to McDonald's there. I got an espresso. If I die, I'm gonna cry. I uh, didn't die, so I'm fine. Um, I went, yeah, I went to the place with the leaning tower, and I got McDonald's. I went, got an espresso. McDonald's espressos kind of slap. It was weird though; they didn't have like a like a good breakfast menu. It was like, um, it was like. D- d- European donuts, which are normal donuts, but like wrong, you know? No, you don't know. Um, but uh, anyhow, I this guy, this guy is so annoying. Like, leave me alone. You know, he's not even good at the video game. I just I keep lagging the second I. <sighs> I'm gonna kill this guy to like fall damage. I don't. I don't even. I don't need this fireball. Just there we go. Anyway, um, I completely forgot what I was saying. I don't know, probably something about uh, the McDonald's. That McDonald's slap, the Leaning Tower pizza, honestly, overrated. What was really cool was all the stuff around it, like the church and everything, which is like, you know, oh my God, church number 355 in Europe. There's so many churches. It's the only thing you do there is go to church and drink espresso and drink espresso while going to church. Although I will say I'm a big fan of espresso. Although I think I drank the espressos wrong. I would take the espresso and like, drink it like a shot which is maybe like an american thing but i don't know like what are you gonna do sip on an espresso there's just not a lot there like in in terms of of content and 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 capacity there's just there's just not a lot of coffee there you know and i found it amusing that american coffee was just watered down <laughs> espresso like what the, hello anyway um and apparently you're not allowed to get a cappuccino after 12 o'clock, which is, like, really weird because, you know, coffee is, like, an all-day activity. Like, what are you doing, you know? It's, like, really weird. Okay. I, I'm just, this guy's starting to make me really annoyed. Oh, he's the last guy in the game? What am I doing? Whatever. Anyway, one of the reasons that driving has been on my mind is because I've, I've got to take my, my test, my driving test a little bit. Uh, and I say a little bit like like two weeks or something. But the thing that you have to do for a driving test is you got to get like a certificate before you can even take the test. Stop PVPing me. I am so upset. Whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, so you got to get the certificate and you got to do like 30 hours of online yada, 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 yada. And the thing is, is that it's like 30 hours of of like learning or whatever, right? But the actual content isn't 30 hours worth of content. It's more of like, one so i i'm i go onto this website and i scroll through like three pages and it's like have you you know you read everything and then you got to do a quiz and i can't i can't take the quiz until i've waited like two hours for this timer to run i don't need these diamonds and then i finally oh my god this guy's gonna fireball me oh my god who could have seen this guy i'm going to kill this man or die i'm gonna go this way actually and then just like hit him off the map i'm gonna do something really cool or not he's just gonna build up yeah Oh my god, that was so epic. Um, anyway, and then um, and then I gotta wait two hours for the timer to go down so I can take the quiz, so I can scroll through three pages, so I can wait another hour to do to take another quiz. It's not even that like it's not educational content. It's like what it's like what happens when the wheel turns left? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think the car goes left, but that's just me, and I don't know anything because I'm just learning. So you know, maybe. Maybe that's an absolute revelation for the apps actual, what am I saying? For the normal average American? Probably. I don't know. I've met some pretty stupid Americans. But anyway, that is all for today. So thanks for stopping by.